Hey guys, gonna give you a little bit of an update on the trailer here. Um, I did quite a bit to it. Um, first, as you can see, is move the headphones up here so they're easy to get to. But I figured this out for the cooler. Um, I just put this piece under here just for added support since it's sitting back here with the bouncing. And just use the hang all just so our water's back here. I'm probably going to buy a little, another little basket or something to put over here to keep cups in or something. I don't know. But, uh, so we got this all reorganized. There's hangers up here with all the still oil. Um, so we got it closer to us instead of laying in that little toolbox. Um, nothing's really changed over here. Got the molars all cleaned. This one looks almost new now again. Got the thin blue line stickers on everything now. That one has it too. Um, here's some more that I've changed. Um, not everything's over here now. Uh, the straps and the, the oils and stuff are over here. Uh, so my bungee cords, they kept going all over the place. So I put one up here. Um, over here now. Bought this little basket here for a house thing, it's like for a bathroom basket to keep towels in. We rigged it up to put it up here. All my gloves and towels are in there. Um, put these little nails throughout the big boards up here. This one's got my edge of blades and a funnel in it. Um, the next big thing I did was this. The front has a shelf now. Um, the cub just kind of sits there. I don't have it tied down or anything, just like everything else. The Honda has a bungee in it, but that's it. The can just kind of sits here. I'm going to see if I need to tie it down, but I'm going to try not to. See what it does, um, up here. I don't have anything to really put there, but it's nice to have in case I do. Right now, I don't have anything, but I'll probably find something just like for that. I'll probably put that holder back at the back for them cups, but right now there's you just gonna stay here on the toolbox. This is the toolbox that I had in my six by twelve. Uh, the first toolbox when I first built the shelf, but then weight wise I just took it out and put the other one back in. Right here I've got all the still tools, just miscellaneous stuff. In here I got pliers. In here the miscellaneous. Stuff. In here are all the screwdrivers. Miscellaneous ratchets and sockets and other stuff. Uh, here, it's got the shop rags in the box. Uh, and here, I got another hanger. A uh, little thing up there. My uh, grabbers for like trash and stuff. And then my two sprayers. Um, the stuff I use three fourths of the time. Uh, is not Roundup, it's all household products that is legal to use. Uh, the first one, this one is for the bees and insects. Uh, uh, a beekeeper where I mow taught me a trick to use a cup and a half of Dawn dish soap and I think a cup and a half of ammonia or something like that and it kills the bees. Then my Roundup is a big long uh, recipe of different things that I use that it kills grass. I mean, let me show you. I just sprayed that three or four days ago. And this over here, there's still some, but not much. So it works. I mean, the, all the cracks in the driveway had it right next to the truck there and they're all gone. So it works. It's a big long list. Uh, it's been in the family. My grandpa is the one that came up with it and it works. I can't remember all the ingredients, but that's what goes in this. They're both empty right now because uh, last Saturday I had uh, a little bit left of the bee stuff and I had a, a beehive, so I had to spray it. And I had a, had a bunch of places that I had to spray weed killer. So it's all, uh, I, you don't need a license to use this stuff. Uh, and it works. I've used it all last year and this year. So um, I do use Roundup on occasion, but not a whole lot. Um, 
that's about it. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to put here. I'm going to buy a portable air tank. That will probably go up here. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. Um, if you have any questions, comments. Uh, I've had a couple people ask me to do a 2016 lock care setup updated. So, I may do that. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see that. Uh, 2016 lawn care setup. Now you guys all pretty much know what everything is, but a lot of people ask for me to go over and show my hangers and stuff, so I probably will go over it once more. Um, or wait a little bit longer, I don't know. So let me know what you guys think. Um, I can wait or I can do it. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, oh, before somebody asks to... I'll show you how we did this. Is I just bought a big piece of this rubber metal shelving. It's thirty-two dollars. It's a ninety-six inch by twenty inch, and as you can see, we just used two by fours and we did braces under here and braces across uh, across. So we have. Uh, I mean, it's and we got the boards here, so this toolbox isn't going anywhere. And this trailer rides so smoothly that I'm not worried about it. Um, yeah, if we get hit or hit a curb or something, it may move, but if it flies off, it, I mean, if it flies off, it flies off, but I don't really want that to happen. But, yep, that's it. Let me know if you want a 2016 lawn care setup, because I can do it, but uh, yep, let me know. All right, like, comment, uh, tell me what you think, thanks.